right. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to bring to you an international motivating speaker. International master sales trainer. He's an expert in personal development and an international banker. We're about to be diamond sized by Mr. Michael Diamond. Put your hands together, Sacramento. This is a treasure. Wow, 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 wow. After an introduction like that, I tell you, there's a lot to follow. I just want to say thank you, and uh, let's give another round of applause to Zion, Sasha Vinny. Let's give it up for her, okay? Let's give it up. Well, I want to say, before I even get started here, one of the things that Sasha Money is doing with her institute is it's inspiring the youth. And I want you to know that everything that you're doing and everything that you're accomplishing, oftentimes you don't even realize it, but it's inspiring people. So stay motivated, keep moving forward, keep your head up, stay positive. Because what's happening now is she's got a young CEO back here in the back running his business. She's got her daughter running her business. And they're about to, he's doing the juices, she's doing the tea, and now they're about to do a blend called the Magnificent Blend. So let's give it up for these young CEOs. Let's give it up for them. Okay, that was kind of weak. Let's give them up. This is Sasha Money. All right, so what I want to talk to you about today is that it's possible. Say that with me. It's possible. Let's do it again. It's possible, it's possible that you can live your dream. Today, we're a part of a dream that's shaking us to question us, can we live our dream? See, everyone that lives their dream inspires us to live their dream, to live your dream. And I want you to know that it's possible. I want you to know when I think about the fight that it takes, when you're on your journey, let Sasha Money's pro progress and accomplishments here let it inspire you to keep moving forward. And remember that it's not always easy, but I want you to say these four dynamics that make any dream, any aspiration come to fruition. See, everyone here, show me by a show of hands, would you please, by a show of hands, everyone that has a dream, raise your hand. If you got a dream, if you got a dream, raise your hand. All right, I'm gonna talk about the four dynamics that manifest the dream. And we're seeing it in Zion. We're seeing it now, that you've got to first see it. You've got to see it in your mind. You've got to see it in your mind as a reality. Before I first opened up my international training company to do training across the world, I could see it. You know, as it was said earlier, God told Abraham, you can have as far as you can see. What can you see? You've got to remember that you've got to see it. Now, I want you to do, I want you to humor me just a little bit. I want you to close your eyes. And if I see anybody touching anybody's stuff, I'm gonna sock you. All right, so I want you to close your eyes for a minute. I want you to see yourself at the beach. I want you to see on a breezy day, it's a beautiful, clear day, it's blue, the water is blue. You've got your pants legs rolled up, you've got shorts on, you can feel your feet in the sand. And now you're going out to the water. I want you to feel the water. All right, open your eyes. Everybody that could raise their hand that, that could see that water, that could see it in their mind. That's how you have to have your vision. You have to crystallize your vision. You've got to write your vision down. They said you've got to write the vision down and make it plain so the people can run with it. And remember that when you write your vision down, it's not easy. It's not easy being successful. It's hard. Say that with me, it's hard. But it's possible. See, I did a lot of bodybuilding in my life. And one of the things that I had to realize is that when you start out on the vision of your dream like Zion, it's hard. But you're going to acclimate to your dream. And when you acclimate to it, it's like bodybuilding. That, that two plates might be heavy at first, but once you start getting up under it and start putting in the work, you're going to acclimate to it. So you've just got to keep moving forward. You've got to visualize it, and you've got to see it. I want you to say these four dynamics with me. See it. See it. Say it. Say it. Believe it. Believe it. Receive, it. Receive it. Let's do it again. See it. See it. Say it. Believe it, believe it, receive it. Receive it. Okay, Michael Diamond, I'm seeing it, saying it, and believing it, but it's not manifesting. It will. I want to share this diamond with you. I'm going to drop this diamond with you. You see, the, your subconscious mind, its fiduciary responsibility is to bring to pass whatever you say. 
See, whatever you say, your subconscious mind, its fiduciary responsibility is to bring the past. You got the person who says, I am so clumsy, I'm just so stupid, they keep knocking things over. You hear people say things like, I remember faces, but I don't remember names. Well, you don't remember names because you keep saying you don't remember names. If you start saying, I don't forget names and I don't forget faces. I don't forget names and I don't forget faces. Finances are coming to me. The right people are seeking me out. This situation's gonna work out. Everything's gonna work out for me. That made me think about when my mom was dying of cancer. And I had got my first contract with NBC and ABC. And I had to keep moving forward. And some of you are probably in a lot of pain right now. You got the happy smile on, but maybe someone's dying. And maybe you're fight. you're in the middle of a big fight. You fighting Mike Tyson, you fighting Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali said, pay the price now and live the rest of your life as a champion. So I want you to pay the price now and live the rest of your life as a champion. But one of the things that he taught me is that Muhammad Ali, when you look at his career, he always told people what he was going to do before he did it. I'm going to knock that monkey out in the seven round. I'm going to get him in the seven and he's going to go to heaven. The question is, what are you saying? Are you saying, I'm so tired, I'm so sick and tired? It's not really working out. You know, I don't know where this is going to come from. No, you got to do like Zion. You got to see it, say it, believe it, receive it. And as I shared with you, you got to keep moving forward. My mom was dying, and I had to keep taking baby steps, just like the children of Israel. They stayed in the wilderness like some of you might be in the wilderness. They stayed in the wilderness for 40 years because they kept going in a circle. Are you going in a circle? You got to keep moving forward, even if it's just a baby step. You got to say, I'm excited now. I, my energy is full now. The right people are coming to me. I want you to say this with me. I'm speaking the right words. Let's try it again. I'm speaking the right words at the right time to be effective and super successful in every area of my life. So you gotta keep moving forward. You gotta keep taking baby steps like Zion. Cause they're gonna tell you no. You're gonna get knocked down. It's gonna hurt. It reminds me of, it reminds me of a story of Mary Kay. See Mary Kay, people look at her success but they don't often know the story. Her husband died two weeks before they were about to launch Mary Kay. Her husband died at the kitchen table. They were talking, and he was the brains behind it and the finances. He fell over and hit his head in his face and died at the kitchen table. Like some of you might be going through stress, adversity, turmoil, like Zion did. It wasn't easy. But Mary Kay, they told her, don't do it, baby, don't do it. Don't do it, your husband died, baby, don't do it. And Mary Kay jumped up and said, I'm big enough to do it. I want you to say that with me, I'm big enough to do it. Say it again, say it again. I'm big enough to do it. And now I want you to think about your dream. And I want to think about where you're going in life. And I want you to now say it again, I'm big enough to do it. I'm big enough to do it. Say it again, I'm big enough to do it. I'm big enough to do it. Mary Kay jumped up and told him, they said, Mary, don't do it, baby. She said, I'm big enough to do it. And I want you to understand that you're big enough to do it, and it's your turn to play a bigger game. One of my series, one of my videos and CD series is, is, is entitled, It's Time to Play a Bigger Game. And I'm telling you now, it's time for you to play a bigger game. We're going to follow Zion into the promised land because one success inspires another. Let her success today, as we look out over this 3.5 acres, we want to know that with God, nothing is impossible. And we're going to do like God. We're going to stand on his word. Romans 4, 17 says, even God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things that be not as though they were. You got to say, I'm strong now. Say it, I'm strong now. I'm big enough to do it. I'm big enough to do it. I got the right stuff, baby. The right people are coming into my life. With all the resources, with all the finances that I need to be successful. And I want you to remember this, Proverbs 16 and 23. Proverbs 16 and 23 says, the heart of the wise 
teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lip. You say, well, Diamond, I talk negative all the time, and I well, we need to add some learning to your lips. The heart of the wise teaches mouth, so teach your mouth how to speak success. Teach your mouth when you want to say, I'm tired, say, I'm challenged. When you want to say, ain't nothing working out, say, I'm telling you, it may not look like it's working right now, but it's going to work. Give somebody a nudge next to you, a high five, and tell them you got the right stuff, baby. Go on, go on, tell them again, you got the right stuff, baby. I'm telling you, it's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling. It's time for you to reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. We're going to stand by with Zion because you want to move like this, like our elder just said, like the geese. We want to get in line and push the wind and be the wind against her back. We want to make sure that by investing in Sasha money, that that's, that's, that's legacy. Like the Rockefellers, that's generational legacy. See, the reason you give at church because your money can go where you can't go. So don't be, don't be a hater. Don't just give in to her because the law of reciprocity is going to work out for you. Whatever you do for somebody else is going to happen for you. Now, whatever you're dealing with right now, whatever you confronted with right now, I want you to know that you're big enough to do it. Whatever you're wrestling with, when that tear rolls over the bridge of your nose at 2.30 in the morning and you're lonely and you're crying, or maybe somebody you know is dying, I want you to know that it's time for you to play a bigger game. You got the right stuff to get it done. You big enough to do it. It's time for you to reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. It's time to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. I want to leave you with this. J.K. Rollins, I don't know if you know who she is. She did the Harry Potter books. Well, I want to let you know about J.K. Rollins because people see her. She's the first billionaire author. But J.K. Rollins, when you look at her story, baby, let me tell you, she was on welfare. She was getting that free government cheese. Okay? Don't mess with my free government cheese. She was getting that free government cheese and that top running with the little onions in there. And her husband was beating her. She was an abused wife. Her husband was beating her. And her mama was dying of cancer. But she kept saying this. I can see it, y'all. I can see it. What can you see? She said, And she kept saying it. I'm going to be the first billionaire author. What are you saying? I want you to speak success over your life. Speak success over your children. Speak success over your job, your business. Call those things that be not as though they were. I want you to understand that J.K. Rollins, being abused by her husband on welfare, became the first billionaire author in the world. I want you to know, say this with me. It's possible, it's possible. that I can live my dream. Let's do it again because we're in collaboration with Sasha Money, with Zion. She's living her dream, baby, and it's time for us to live our dream. Now, Harriet Tubman, y'all may never heard of her. They said, Harriet, baby, why are you risking your life? Why are you putting it all on the line like this, Harriet? She said, because somebody's got to lead the way. Somebody's got to take the people into the light. This beautiful woman over here said, light is not intimidated by light. Darkness didn't want her to do it, but Harriet Tubman, she kept moving forward. She said she could see it. I want you to say this with me one more time. See it. See it. Think about your dream. Say it. Say it. Believe it. Believe it. You might say, Michael Diamond, I don't believe it. I want you to understand this. If you, it's like the principle of the great lie. You say anything enough, and you're going to begin to believe it. You start saying it. I'm telling you, you start saying it. You start seeing it. Say it, you're going to believe it, and you're going to receive it. I want you to know that my name is Michael Diamond. I'm an international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development. And I'm here to tell you, it's time for you to play a bigger game. It's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling. It's time for you to reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. And I want to close with this saying right here. The only thing that's holding you back is you. The miracle is in your mouth, baby. The miracle is in your mouth. The miracle is in your mouth. Speak the miracle. Speak the miracle. Speak the miracle. Zion is here because she saw it. 
And she kept telling everybody. I remember I met this queen about a year ago, year and a half ago, somewhere in there. She kept telling me, I'm going to have this land, and I'm going to do this business. And I looked at her at first, and I thought, do I need a drink? Hmm? Do I need a drink? Because she was thinking big. She was thinking big. She was seeing it, saying it, believing it. And now look at here. She received it. So you follow that principle. You follow those formulas. And remember that this is your season. This is your time. And you're in a zone. Say it with me. This is my season. This is my time. This is my time. And I'm in a zone. Say it again, baby. This is my season. This is my season. This is my time. My time. And I'm in a zone. I'm in a zone. See it. Say it. Believe it. Receive it. Receive it. See it. Say it. Say it. Believe it. Believe it. Receive it. Receive it. See it. Say it. Say it. Believe it. Believe it. Receive it. Receive it. My name is Michael Diamond, international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development. Everyone that's here, I want you to visit my website, www.michaeldiamond.us, because it's all about us. And I'm going to send you, you say, I saw Michael Diamond go to work, and we're going to send you a free CD, a free video to inspire you. Thank you for watching another edition of the Diamond Series. If you want more information on product offers or want to know when Michael's going to be in your area, just call the number on your screen or write to us. And let Michael Diamond take you to the next level. I think that he is really out there to help a lot of the people and they really want what he has to give them. In fact, I'm encouraging all my suppliers to use Michael Diamond. And the reason being is because I'm hoping that he can do for them they did for my organization. It taught me a lot about putting more positive into my life and not sabotaging myself and it was a very good motivational seminar. Not only is he discussing a dream that's important to him, but it's one that can be shared throughout the world. People have a compassion about something and that's what his focus was.